Hello everyone. This is our set of the day. And let us start it. It says, there are nine people. Arun, Varun, Charles, Dhuni, Ishan, Finney, Gaurav, Himant and Imran lives on different floors in different flats. And there are in total six floors, excluding the ground floor. And three flats on each other floor. The three flats on each floor are in the row and no two adjacent flats are on the same floor are occupied. So that means if there are, these are the three flats on any floor. So it means no two adjacent flats on the same floor are occupied. That means uh, it is not possible that persons are living in the flat number one and two. Persons are living in two and three. These two possibilities are not possible. But there is a possibility that one person is living in the flat number one and the second one is living in the flat number three and the middle flat is unoccupied. Either this, this could be the case or there could be the case that only one among these three flats is occupied. Either the one or the second flat or the third flat, right? But two adjacent flats, they cannot be occupied. <clears throat> so no two adjacent flats on the same floor, they are occupied. At least one of them lives on each floor. That is also important since there are nine people and we have six floors. So at least one people, one person must be living on each floor. Now, further information is given that Hemant lives on the floor that is immediately of the floor on which Imran lived. That means Hemant and Imran, they will live one of the other. Hemant lives on the floor that is immediately above the floor on which Imran lived and Ishan lives on the middle flat on the fourth floor. Arun and Bhanu, they live on the same floor. So obviously if Arun and Bhanu will live on the same floor, that simply means that one of them will live in the floor number one and the second one will live in the floor number three, right? Or like this. Finney lives on the fifth floor and Gaurav lives on the first floor, but their flats are not given. It's already, uh, it's only given that Finn lives on the fifth floor and Gaurav lives on the first floor, but the flat number is not given. Just like the case of Ishan, where the flat is already given that he lives in the middle flat, right? On the fourth floor. And Charles and Dhoni, they live on the different floors. There is one more uh, observation uh, from this point that since this person, Ishan, he lives on the middle floor, uh, middle flat. He lives on the middle flat on the fourth floor. So it simply means that if these are the three flats, so Ishan is living on the in the flat number two, right? In the middle flat, in the flat number two. That means no one can live in the flat number one and flat number three on the fourth floor. Why? Because in that case, two adjacent flats on the same floor would be will be occupied which is simply not possible. So if Ishan is living on the second floor, uh, sorry, Ishan is living on the, in, in the middle flat on the fourth floor, that simply means that the flat number one and flat number three, they are unoccupied. Now let us uh, <coughs> try to solve the questions and uh, make the arrangements, whichever is possible. So, it's written that Finney lives on the fifth floor. So let's say these are the floors, six, five, four, three, two, and one, right? Finney lives on the fifth floor and Gaurav lives on the first floor. But since we do not know their, their flats, so without loss of generality, let's say Gaurav uh, is living here. Let's say Gaurav lives here and Fini lives here, right? But they can also live in the flat number one two also, right? But I'm just assuming that they are living in the flat number three. Next it says Ishan. Ishan lives on the middle flat of the fourth floor. So Ishan lives in the middle flat of the fourth floor. So this is a flat of Ishan. Now, this is the only information given which can be filled in. Next it says Himant lives on the floor that is immediately over the floor of Imran and Arun and Varun they live on the same floor. Charles and Dhoni they live on the different floors. The first question says 
if Fini and Imran do not live on the same floor, then which of the following cannot be true? Cannot be true is the word. So Fini and Imran, they do not live on the same floor. But we know that Himant and Imran, they will live, one above the other, Imran will live just be, uh, below the uh, flat of Himant, right? Himant lives just uh, on the floor that is immediately above the floor on which Imran lives, right? So <clears throat> The first case, Himant, since uh, as per the condition given in the question, it says Fini and Imran do not live on the same floor. That means Imran cannot live on this floor. So it's, it simply means that Himant cannot live on sixth floor, right? Since Fini and Imran, they cannot live on the same floor, same uh, floor. So Himant cannot be on the sixth one, right? So this is not possible for Himant. Next, Himant cannot live on the fifth floor. If Himant is here, Imran has to be on the fourth floor, which is not possible. Since in that case, the two, uh, two uh, adjacent floors will be occupied. Similarly, no one can live on the fourth floor with Ishan. That is simply not possible. Now, one case is that Himant live here, let's say, and Imran lives here, right? In that case, Arun and Barun will live in the on the sixth floor. This is the first possibility. Right. And Charles and Dhoni, they can live either Charles, let's say, is living here and Dhoni is living here. That is possible. Right. <clears throat> so this is one of the possibilities. Now it says uh, which the following cannot be true. Right. So this is one of the possibilities. Okay, now let's say uh, which of the following can be uh, cannot be true. First one says Bhanu lives on the third floor. Now, Bhanu lives on the third floor. That is also possible. How is that possible? If we consider, if we consider that Himant is living on the second floor and Imran lives on first floor, then it is possible that Arun and Bhanu, they live on the third floor. In which case, I'm just taking Himant to be right here, but it is possible that Himant lives on the flat number, in the flat number three, right? In that case, Charles can uh, live here and Dhoni can live here, no problem, or Dhoni can also, uh, Dhoni can live in the, on the sixth floor, right? That is also possible. Okay, so that simply means that Bhanu lives on the third floor. That is possible. Question says which of the following cannot be true, but Bhanu can live on the third floor. Right, this can be possible. So this cannot be the answer. Second says Charles lives on the second floor. That can be possible, but question says cannot be true. Right, cannot be true. Okay, so Charles lives on the second floor. Is it not true? It can be true. Charles can live on the second floor. As per this arrangement, Charles can uh, live on the second floor. <coughs> Third, Arun lives on the second floor. Now, Arun lives on the second floor is not possible. The reason is, if I take this case, which is just on the screen, As we know that, let me raise this part also. As we know that, Himant cannot live on the sixth floor. He cannot live on the fifth floor. He cannot live on the fourth floor. That means Himant can Himant can live on the third floor or in the on the second floor, right? So if Himant lives on the third floor, let's say Himant lives here, then Imran will live on the second floor. If Himant lives on the third floor, Imran will live on the second floor. That means one person is already living on the second floor. So if Arun also lives on the second floor, that means Barun should also be on the second floor, which is not possible because in this case, all the three flats are occupied. This is not possible, right? And if I assume that instead of uh, third floor, if I assume that Himant lives on the second floor, in that case, Imran will live on the first floor. Now, in this case also, Arun cannot be on the second floor because 
again there will be three people living on the second floor so this is again not possible so that means answer is option three arun lives on the second floor cannot be possible Here is the next question. Finn is here, and Ishan is here, and Gaurav is here. This is already given. It says Dhoni and Charles are living on the second and sixth floor respectively. Now Dhoni lives on the second floor. Dhoni lives on the second floor. Let's say Dhoni is occupying this floor, this flat, and uh, this man Charles, he lives on the sixth floor. Charles is living on the sixth floor, right? Now, in this case, there is only one possibility for Arun and Barun. Since Arun and Bhanu, Arun and Bhanu, they should live on the same floor, and on each floor, uh, all three flats cannot be occupied. That means there is only one possibility for Arun and Bhanu. That is that they can live on the third floor only. So Arun and Bhanu, they can live in any order on the third floor. This is the only possibility for Arun and Bhanu, right? And Hemant and Imran, they can <coughs> they can live right here. That Hemant, let's say, is uh, is on the uh, on the sixth floor, and uh, Imran is on the fifth floor. That is possible, right? That is very much possible. Or it is also possible that Hemant lives on the third floor. This is also possible that Hemant lives on the uh, second floor and uh, Imran lives on the first floor. That is also possible. Okay. The question says which of the following must be true. Now, word must is there. <clears throat> word must is there. First says Bhanu is living on the second floor. This is not true because only possibility for Bhanu is the third floor. Hemant is living alone on his floor. That is not uh, necessary since uh, Hemant can live on the sixth floor. In this case, Charles is living with him, or if he lives on the second floor, then in that case, Dhoni is living with him. So, this is again not possible. Ishan is living on the same floor as Imran. This is not possible. No one can live with Ishan. Right? No one can live with Ishan. <clears throat> now, fourth, Arun is living on the third floor. That is correct. So, this only possibility left for Arun and, Barun, uh, Arun and Bhanu is third floor. Right? So, Arun is living on the third floor is the right one. It says Bhanu lives on the third floor. So Bhanu and Arun, they are living on the third floor. And Imran lives on the first floor to the extreme left corner. So Imran lives here. That means Hemant must be living right here in any of the flats, either in the one or in the three or two. Then how many combinations of persons could uh, could live on the second floor? How many combinations of the persons could live on the second floor? Now, out of these nine people, we have arranged uh, seven people, right? And Dhoni and uh, Charles, they are the people who are still need to arrange, right? The question says, how many combinations of persons could live on the second floor? And since it is written that... Uh, At least one of them lives on each floor. That means there must be a person who is living on the sixth floor. Now, question says how many combinations of persons could live on the second floor? Now, we can say that if Dhoni lives here, if Dhoni lives on the sixth floor, Charles lives on the fifth floor, then all the nine persons are arranged. That means Hemant alone is living. So, first case is that Hemant alone is living on the second floor this is the first case second case it is also possible that charles is living right here 
on the second foot that is also possible right since in this case also uh, at least one person is living on each floor so second case is if hemant and charles they live on the second floor this is the second case and it is also possible that dhoni and charles they swap their positions that means charles is living on the sixth floor and dhoni lives on the second floor so the third case is that if hemant and dhoni they live together on the second floor so there are in total three possibilities for the uh, persons who could live on the second floor so answer is option number 2 so this was all about this set thank you to all of you